In the history of boxing, there are unique individuals who have managed to achieve outstanding results in a short period of time. This is a story about Sultan Abragamov, a famous boxer from Dagestan. His professional record, 22 wins, 17 of them by knockout and only one loss due to a hand injury. Sultan Ahmed Magomed Salihovic Abragamov was born on March 8, 1975 in the village of Teliarada, Republic of Dagestan, USSR. From June 2007 to February 2008 he was the WBO heavyweight champion of the world. In the amateur ring, Abragamov won the silver medal of the 2000 Summer Olympics in the category up to 91 kilograms. He started boxing after moving to Rostov-on-Don, where his brother lived. In 1998, Abragamov got into the Russian national team. Height 188 centimeters. The arm span is 193 centimeters. The Sultan is a natural left-hander. He works in a right-handed left-handed position. His hallmark is the speed of his hands. In 2001, Sultan decided to start a professional career. To start in a new sport, Abragamov moved to Florida, USA. Abragamov took a high bar. He competed in the heavyweight division due to the popularity of this weight class. Most of the Sultan's rivals outnumbered him in terms of size. On December 11, 2004, Sultan Abragamov in New York won by technical knockout in the second round over American James Walton. In the second round, after a series of blows to the body by Abragamov, Walton fell over the top rope of the ring and fell to the referee's table, but the referee mistakenly thought that this was the result of a low blow, and gave him five minutes to recover. In the sixth round, most of which Abragamov simply beat his opponent, the fight was stopped. On March 3, 2005, he knocked out former champion Alfred Cole in the third round. On June 24, 2005, Abragamov defended his WBO Asia Pacific title for the fourth time, defeating Andy Sample by TKO in the first round. On March 3, 2005, he knocked out former champion Alfred Cole in the third round. Mike Tyson, entered the ring to congratulate the winner, said that he himself did not intend to fight in battles anymore and considers the Russian boxer one of the strongest among modern heavyweights. By the end of 2005, Sultan won 19 victories in 19 fights and received the right to fight for the title of official contender for the IBF, International Boxing Federation, world title. On July 28, 2006, Abragamov met with American Ray Austin. According to the results of this fight, the judges determined a draw, and Austin retained the title of the official IBF challenger. In 2007, the Russians signed a contract with Jeff Mayweather, the uncle of Floyd Mayweather Jr. In his next fight, which took place on March 10, 2007, the Russian knocked out Javier Mora in the first round. On June 2, 2007, Abragamov held the first championship fight in his career and defeated American Shannon Briggs, the WBO titleholder, on points. After that, the Russians signed a contract for a unification fight with the WBA champion Ruslan Chagayev, but this fight did not take place due to the illness of the Uzbek boxer. In early August 2007, Abragamov signed a contract to fight with the former undisputed world champion American Evander Holyfield. The duel between Abragamov and Holyfield took place on October 13, 2007 in Moscow at the Megasports Sports Palace on the Kodinka field. According to the results of 12 rounds, the judges gave the victory to Abragamov by unanimous decision. 
On February 23, 2008, a unification duel of two world champions from the post-Soviet space took place. Sultan Abragamov, WBO title holder, crossed gloves with Vladimir Klitschko, IBF world champion. In preparation for the fight with Vladimir, Sultan injured his left hand. Representatives of the Russian team did not postpone the date of the fight to a later date. Klitschko defeated Abragamov via unanimous decision. This defeat was the first and only in the Sultan's professional career. The Sultan ended his career at the peak of physical condition. An injury to the left hand led to a forced resignation. Sultan Abragamov's career is reminiscent of a marathon champion race. At the age of 17, he visited the boxing gym for the first time, and at the age of 32 he ended his sports career. Over a 15-year period, he achieved outstanding results in the amateur and professional ring. As for the title of this video, of course, such a legend as Mike Tyson was not afraid of the Sultan, on the contrary, he respected him very much. But we want to add that the Dagestan boxer broke even those boxers who defeated the Iron Mike himself. For this, Tyson respected the Russian boxer. Mike calls me, Russian brother Sultan, and I am very pleased with that, Abragamov said. If you liked the video, put like, write a comment and subscribe to our channel about fighters. Thank you for watching.